Hello, seventh grade. Today we are doing unit six, lessons seven and eight, reasoning about solving equations. In today's lesson, we're going to be using the container diagram to help us understand and solve equations. This is a Hainer diagram. A Hainer diagram shows us the relationship between two different because this Hainer diagram is flat, that tells us that both sides weigh the same amount. On the left side of our Hainer, we have seven ones. On the right side, we have three X's and one. This tells us that seven ones weighs the same as three X's and one. We can represent this with the equation seven equals three X plus one. We want to find out how much one of these x's is. To do that, we're going to take away that extra one that we had hanging on the bottom. However, because our hanger needs to weigh the same amount on both sides, we need to take away the same amount of weight on the left side as well. This leaves us with six ones weighing the same as three x's. This will help us find out how much 1x weighs, because 1x is going to be a third of the total weight on our right side. And if we only want to keep a third of our right side, we also need to only keep a third of our left side. But the Hainer stays balanced. This leaves us with a balanced Hainer. Two ones weighing the same as one x represent with the equation two equals x. Let's go over those steps one more time, but without the Hainer diagram. We're given the equation seven equals three x plus one, and we need to find out what value of x will make this equation true. The first thing we did was subtracted one from both sides of our equation. We need to do it to both sides, but they stay equal. We were left six equals three x. Then we found one third of both sides. Another way to find one third is to divide by three. This left us with two equals x. We can check to make sure this solution is correct by substituting this two or x in our original equation. So we can see that our solution is correct because three times two equals six plus one equals seven. And seven does equal If we're given this Hainer diagram, we could write it as the equation 3x plus 6 equals 18, and then solve it the same way we did the last one. We would subtract 6 from both sides, getting 3x equals 12, and then divide each side by 3 getting x equals Instead, we're going to notice that the left side of our Hainer consists of three groups of an x and a 2. We can represent this with the equation 3 multiplied by the quantity x plus 2 equals 18, because we have three sets of x plus 2. One set of x plus 2 is going to be one third the weight of our whole left side. And because we're finding a third of the left side of our hanger, we also need to find a third of the right side of our hanger. We can do this by dividing both sides of our equation by 3. This leaves us with one set of x plus 2 on the left side, 
and one third of 18, or six, on the right side. To get x alone, all we have to do, subtract two from our left side, and to keep it balanced, also subtract two from our right side. This leaves us with a balanced hainer, x on the left and four on the right, for the equation x equals two. The most important thing for you to remember from today's lesson is that whatever you do to one side of an equation, you also need to do to the other. Just like the hainers, we need to keep them balanced. Have a nice day.